uh, 2013, I was being laid off from the post office, and uh, I decided that, you know, it was time to try something on my own. So, in the same month, I decided that I was going to open a business, uh, go back to school and get my MBA. We also found out that I was having a daughter. So, <laughs> it, was a, it was a big month, and uh, that was, uh, you know, the beginning of it. We chose carpet cleaning and so forth because there was kind of a built-in um, turn season where there was a demand for our services. The process that we use, we like to use, is the, is the truck mounted systems. Um, it's really powerful. It's uh, so the rug doctors and things like that, they'll pull some of the stuff out, um, but a lot of them, they don't even pull the soap that you put down in. So the truck mounted system is really powerful. Uh, it has a rating of, uh, I don't know, 400 CFM, which means that it just sucks a lot. <laughs> but the, uh, uh, you know, in contrast, your, your very best vacuum cleaners will have like a 100 CFM kind of rating. So it's powered by an 18 to 35 horsepower, you know, lawnmower engine type thing compared to just plugging into the wall. So. Um, but that's we like to use the uh, truck mounted systems. We we find that they're uh, powerful. But we also do the uh, encapsulation cleaning, bonnet cleaning, shampoo cleaning, um, which is good for the commercial glue down carpets, like the uh, lower piled carpets, where you just kind of take the machine and you use a bonnet to kind of absorb uh, some uh, some of the soil, and it encapsulates actually the. Uh, the soil and then you vacuum it out afterwards so that's another method we do. What we actually did in the White House was called a color clean and that is something that is uh, registered by uh, Colorful Carpets out of Maryland. Their uh, proprietary cleaning is actually with uh, one of the uh, portable units that I have here and what it is is in the solution tank that would normally just hold fresh clean water they actually put a drop of the primary color of the carpet in it, so it actually re-dyes and rejuvenates the, uh, the carpets. So if you have somewhere that has a lot of traffic, um, you know, a lot of like law firms, hotels, things like that, where there's people in and out all day, you get what's called like a uh, uh, soil, uh, uh, it would be like an acid, uh, because the pH of the soil is going to be lower than uh, what the carpet is. So over time it's going to affect the, the pH of the carpet and it's going to kind of kill the colors, make it duller. And what the color clean does is it comes through and it'll actually kind of just make those colors pop again, make it look like new. Chris, uh, who kind of took me under his wing after a training that he offered for me for free for being a veteran um, for Veterans Day, he, uh, you know, he developed the process, have a lot of respect for him. He kind of, um, you know, revolutionized, I guess, that whole thing. And that's all he does. He doesn't do carpet cleaning or anything. He actually does uh, dyeing, um, you know, the color clean like that. And then uh, another big one is bleach stains where, you know, somebody will drop some bleach somewhere. It'll fade out the color of the carpet. And instead of doing a patch like a lot of people are, you know, wanting to do, He'll actually go in, neutralize the bleach, and then dye that carpet back to where it is. So that's a skill that you know I think really sets us apart from you know anybody else in our market. Is that we can go in and fix those, uh, fix those uh, you know mistakes and things. So, so we got to go and uh, you know do a color clean in the White House in the Situation Room, and I actually did the room where they watched Osama bin Laden, uh, you know the Osama bin Laden raid. So that was something that, you know, as a veteran, uh, to be like in the heart of where those decisions get made, like it was a, it was a humbling experience. Um, you know, I gotta say, after three years in the industry, to be brought into a job like that, it was a, uh, you know, obviously humbling, like I said, but it was just like a, a greater experience than you know I was ever you know, thinking I would ever have in this industry, you know, this, this quickly. So we do um, furniture cleaning. We have uh, one of our uh, guys, he's actually going to be doing a IICRC uh, 
certification course in uh, upholstery cleaning. So we do it now, um, microfiber, um, any sort of stuff like that. But um, what he's being trained in is, you know, those very specific like silks, uh, Haitian cotton, things like that. Things that you really don't normally think of, but, you know, maybe somebody has a family like heirloom, like a like a love seat that was handed down through the generations. And these, uh, you know, these fibers can be very, very sensitive to, to any sort of chemicals which are used in uh, basic, you know, uh, cleaning that you would for like a microfiber or just like a regular straight up cloth couch you wouldn't use for like a, you know, a wool or a, a cotton, uh, you know, love seat or something like that. We do a lot of hard surfaces like tile and grout. Um, we do marble, concrete, terrazzo. Um, there's there's a lot of surfaces that you know they act the same, um, and we're always willing to come out and take a look at something. But another service uh, we're getting into the restoration industry as well um, with water damage, um, fire and mold. Um, so. We're uh, really in an expansion point right now, just kind of expanding our services. I think uh, anybody can learn how to clean a carpet. Yeah, I think there's a, but it, you know, it takes somebody special, and that's who, really who we look for to, to employ is somebody that's willing to go deep, you know, in the knowledge. You know, anybody can have a, a nine to five job where they come, they clean carpets and stuff, but we really ask more of our techs to, you know, get the certifications. Um, I think that's a huge one. Uh, when we were, you know, first day, well, no, it was the first week, um, you know, we, we try to get them to do a carpet cleaning course so they can know the chemistry and the, uh, you know, the construction of the carpets. And uh, I think that really does set us apart.